Today, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go through some of the projects I'm coming up with in the future. Um, a little drink here. 11 o'clock, Watson. Well, first of all, it's still a guitar. Let me get it here. Here's the Stella. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of tear it down as much as I can. Uh, the tuners, they seem to be okay. This is a guitar I bought at a, a yard sale for yeah, $5. Uh, same price I paid for that Conrad. But it's a Stella. And I think it's from like 60s, early 70s. I don't know for sure. Um, steel reinforced neck, made in USA. What I've got to do to it is um, the neck is it? Oh man, if you see that or not? Right here. Stages camera. Right here, it's pulling away from the body, and. I don't know if you can see it, but that's come apart. I'm going to glue all that. It was the only answer. The only answer. It's got a bow when the strings are tight. And the bow is not in the neck. It's actually in where it comes to the body. So I'll work on that. On the Stella, I'm waiting for a little warmer because I want to be able to do that. And then have it to where it stays probably 55, 60, which will be a couple months. But I just keep it in here so it reminds me I got to do it. Well, it may not be long now, Watson. The red guitar, I've got to fine tune this in here. This is one of my priorities. I want to get that done. I got the Conrad all done. I also, for this guitar, get Telecaster clone or not clone, but Telecaster style guitar it's just, it's just a cheap guitar i think i, I don't know man i probably no more than 75 dollars for it at the most <laughs> not a joke but i'm digging that all out and put two humbuckers and then a lipstick uh, pickup in there uh telecaster lipstick i don't know i'm just experimenting with it and see how it sounds i don't know and it'll be a five-way switch so it'll be humbucker, humbucker, and then lipstick, uh, single coil. We'll see. Don't jump! These strings, I'm just going to use them um, to when I first get it set up. And then I'll put new strings on it. And I've got new tuners coming for it. All right, I've got them here. I'll put this back away here. I'll be back. And then uh, I've got a little area here to work in. Oh no. Now, um. 11 o'clock, Watson. Well, I guess we're actually taking the afternoon. <laughs> Another project. Need a red guitar, a rifle. I've been working on this for six months. It's a Remington, the Score Master, a Model 511. And. I did discover by the markings on it right here, and I don't think anybody's going to be able to see those, but from what it said on the internet, this thing was built in 1945, so that's going 80 years ago. Think about what you'd think about. But it's still good shape, really good shape. My father-in-law's, and when he passed away, um, he had some guns. I think all long rifles, all rifles. And um, they split them up amongst the family. And I just told them, uh, I live way out in Rapid City, and they live back in Isle around Sioux Falls, Sioux, Sioux City area. And um, I just said, just, you know, I get down to two or three guns and let me know. And there was this one, the Remington. Look, we're talking about real money here to save people. And it's just going to start kicking in now. Stormaster, here's the stock I redid. It had that reddish um, varnish look. So I, I uh, cleaned, it, cleaned it all up. Got rid of a lot of the scratches. Um, it's not perfect, but it's a lot 
I like the looks of it better. I know I could have just left it the way it was, but um, it's not a collector's item. I mean, people will probably buy them, but I'm next person that gets this won't be it won't be sold to them. It'll be given to them or got the stock pretty much done. I'll probably give it a couple more coats of clear. And here is put together. I uh, hold it apart. And the problem is the trigger mechanism. I think something fell out, uh, but I'm not sure. And I got a friend that I mean, he does muzzle loaders, so he, he's got experience with metal and wood, I'm sure. Uh, but he said he would look at it. Once I get it all blued, i got to get it blued and stuff. And I probably should hurry up and get that done because um, that way I can have him help me with it. Maybe pay him in a few beers or something. I don't know. He's a pretty good guy, old Bill. Okay, this is, put this up on the shelf. Let's see here. Yeah, I can go just like this. Put it over there in my books. Kind of makes a good backdrop. Okay, the other thing, here's the, here's the parts for it. Give me a break. What? Um, magazine. Trigger guard screws on the back plate thing, um, but I think I've got a I've got a drawing and stuff of it, and I've got a thing here. Here is my gun stuff. There it is, right there. Here's my gun stuff. This is a totally different party, man. I think I have. Oh, I think the drawing is in the other shed. Bolt. It's in good shape. I've still got some cleaning to do, but I'll blue that too. Uh, the other thing I'm doing, I've got another camera. I'm trying to do more to be able to get right in where the action's at when I'm doing something. With this camera up here, it doesn't do it that well. Put this one on. And I can have it so I can swap them back and forth. But I had to get another. I want to get a stand for this, just like the one up there. It screws in. This is a um, this is pipe threads, which is kind of the same thing. And I, Give me a break. What? Got to put that in to here. So. What I had to do, that they talked me into doing, was, and I found out this was cheaper than actually going online and buying one of those little, little things like that instead of make your own. It would cost me for one on to get one online and be just like that one. It would have cost me like I think eighteen dollars. I'm not sure. I, I I looked at several places. I average about eighteen dollars. All this put together, and here's the sales slip. Nineteen dollars seventy two cents for the parts. Look, we're talking about real money here to save people, and it's just going to start kicking in now. The pipe threader thing was probably the most expensive. I'll still have this to use again and again and again. I'll probably make it work. Let's put that on a wrench. Keep turning it in. Um, got to clamp this in. Let's see here. Tight in there, kind of. Come on, it's on here. Well, I don't know if that's even in there right, but give her a try. I can just get it started. What do we do here? It won't even start on there. Give me a break. What? Well, that wasn't successful. Eleven o'clock, Watson. And it's not really going good here. I don't want to need a hammer. Okay, if I can, 
but I can just kind of tap it in there. No, that didn't work either. Just catch a little bit. It's going in now. Oops. Let's just turn the whole thing. Now that's in there. One of my mistakes is I was pushing down on parts that I'm changing the threads on. Just give me a break. What? It's kind of going. It's not going to hold it. This vice I bought. Oh, maybe a year ago or so. I know some people don't like them. They're the quick release, quick set. A bigger one, a normal sized one, would have been just too big for in here. I don't know how people do this. It, it's going in there. And it's off a little bit. See, it's just twisting the whole thing. There must be a trick to this. What it is, I don't know. Think about what you'd think about. I you just can't get that tight enough to hold that. I'm going to have to take my chances. With how much I've got in there is going to be enough, and I don't think so. <laughs> Not a joke. Here, vice grips. I just might do it. There we go. Well, if I'm doing any good, I'm getting in there. It's going in. I'm just going to go until it's pretty tight. I don't want to make a mess of those spreads. Yeah. This is amazing, I hope. Uh, let's put a few threads in there. Think about what you'd think about. I tip that over. There's some metal pieces in there from the thread cutting. I don't want to see how much. That's quite a bit. There. That took care of it. Now. I get this thing threaded. I gotta get it far enough in. I'm getting to like this vice a little more and more. Ooh, it's going. It's going. <laughs> Not a joke. What ends well, ends well. It's gonna work.